Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about mitosis and the cell cycle. So the cell cycle is a process by which a cell can divide to form two identical cells. And every day we need to produce new cells. And this could be for growth. It could be because we have suffered some kind of tissue damage. And it could be because our cells need replacing because they're old and have died. Skin is a good example. We're constantly losing skin cells and they need to be replaced all the time. And the cell cycle is made up of three parts. The major part is called interphase. And this phase takes up the majority of the duration of the cell cycle. The second phase is called mitosis. And the final stage is called cytokinesis. And in this video, we'll go through each of those three stages and what happens in each stage. So the first stage, interphase, that's this very long stage here all the way around. That is all interphase. It's the majority of the cell cycle. And before a cell can split, the cell which we call the parent cell has to grow and produce more organelles so things like ribosomes and things like mitochondria it also has to make a copy of its dna so the 46 chromosomes in the nucleus are copied so that the cell has two copies of each chromosome so i've shown this here in this diagram each of these chromosomes gets copied and looks something like this. So this chromosome will end up looking like that. This chromosome will end up looking like that. The two copies are attached to each other by this central part here, the centromere. So now we have two copies of each of the 46 chromosomes in the nucleus. And also during interphase, the copies are checked for mistakes. Once interphase is complete, mitosis begins and in mitosis the genetic material splits into two the copies of the chromosomes are pulled to either end of the cell and form two separate nuclei each with its own copy of the cell's dna so you see here where the two copies are stuck together in the middle these will then be separated and pulled towards separate ends of the cell and they are pulled by things called spindle fibers which pull them to either end of the cell and mitosis is this short period here finally we can go on to cytokinesis which is the final stage in the cell cycle so finally the cytoplasm divides and the cell membrane splits to form two cells each one taking their own copy of the DNA with them. And these are called daughter cells. And if you remember, the original cell was called the parent cell. So we have a parent cell and we have daughter cells. So here we can see the cell membrane and the cytoplasm dividing and splitting and finally separating into two individual cells. So that was the cell cycle. And in adult animals, when a differentiated cell divides, it can only become that type of cell. So if this is a skin cell, it can only form more skin cells. So this process is mainly used to repair damaged tissue or to replace worn out cells. Of course, it's different when stem cells divide because they are undifferentiated anyway so they can become any type of cell. And in contrast, plant cells can differentiate throughout their life and also differentiation isn't permanent. So plant cells undergoing this type of cell division can become any type of specialized cell. They are not limited to the type of cell the parent cell was. Okay, so that was mitosis and the cell cycle. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.